Capricorn, welcome to your weekly update. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. This is a love reading, all right? This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. I've already meditated on your cards, Capricorn. I've already called in the divine for divine assistance. Now, also keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every single Capricorn, okay? Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Capricorn, let's go ahead and get started for you. We have the nine of pentacles between you and your person. Your person's energy is temperance and your energy is the five of cups. Let's continue here. All right. The both of you are feeling very single. Now your person's in the energy of trying to get balanced, heal themselves, doing things in moderation. They don't want to do too much too fast. Right. Maybe addressing some of the fire that they have in them, calming down their passions, things like that. You're in an energy of you don't even really want to fall in love again. Like this is some bullshit. I'm not trying to really be bothered like this anymore. Remorseful, feeling like you made a bad choice, right? Pick the wrong one, something to that effect. All right, so we have the Two of Cups coming in for the both of you. We have your person in the Six of Swords. You're in the Page of Cups. Something new's coming for you, Capricorn. And you know what? You're like, hmm, that looks interesting. Hmm. Well, let me take my cup over here and see what's popping. You know, that's kind of, you know, look at this guy. He's like, mm, what's that over there? Nice. Hmm. Let me take my cup. Let me see what's good. Right? All right. You know, your person just, they're, they're just not wanting to deal with any conflict or chaos or troubled waters. Like, they want their emotions to be stable and, you know, just calm, peaceful. You know, now, again, I seen that they were doing a bit much with their, their passion and here they are now, too. They probably just want, they want connections without, um expectations is what i'm feeling you know they want they want to connect and they want to go home take it how it resonates all right so and, and there's a sense of them you know defending that feeling like this is how i feel and that's this that you know, so now you have the magician exit in this, like you have all the tools to, to manifest what it is you truly desire. You just have to hone in and use them. Tell me about the magician, please. Yeah, you know, all this trying to collaborate with this person, screw that, you know, accept that truth that they gave to you and keep it pushing. Tell me more about the magician. Yeah, you got options, my friend. You got options. What's the problem? But you're holding on to that. Let it go. They ask to be let go. Let go. They ask for you to hold on. Hold on. You know? Tell me about the seven of wands here. What is this conflict? What is this being defensive? Tell me more, please. All right. So somebody makes, somebody's feeling left out in the cold you know and here it is you know you know capricorn here you are you feel left out never mind the gender it's a general reading there's things that you feel like you know it's, you feel like some some trash happened because you feel like things are unbalanced because of information that you did not get like things that was unbeknownst to you and you don't feel like that was right like that's some BS. You don't feel like that was right at all as it relates to this person that you're connected to. And you're pretty upset about that. Tell me about the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups. Why is it here for Capricorn, please? The Five of Cups. Yep, but you're not taking the leap with this person anymore. You like, oh, that's how you feel? Oh, that's how you're going to make me feel? Oh, okay, fine. Stand firm. Stand firm. Hold by. I mean, hold, hold, hold. What's the? Stand by. Stand firm and stand by. I'm in the full reversed. You don't want to do it? You're not trying to take this leap with me? You know, um, that's all you have to say. That's kind of what your energy is like. That's all you had to say. There's no need to, you know, 
spoil or play with me. You know, I had you pegged all wrong, but I got your card now and it's all good. I'm going to take my cup because I see something interesting over there anyways. You see that standing over there? What is that? Let me take this cup over here and see what's popping. That's what's going on. They're moving towards something too, but they just want some, they just like new beginnings and to move on. They don't want anything to stick. Okay. All right. So let's see here, Capricorn, we're at six minutes, six seconds. Let's see what the Love's Prophet Oracle have to say. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. What are the messages, please? What do they need to know for their highest good, please? This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. What do they need to know? They need to know. No longer feeling like things are missed opportunity. Getting over it. That was a big stack of cards. I was not about to read all those. All right, this is for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn. What are the messages? All right, Capricorn. So we have new ideas, we have non-committal for your person, and we have generational wealth for you. So you're, you're focusing on your abundance, trying to figure out ways to bring in that coin. All right, your person's in an energy of wanting to be a player, wanting to, you know, be very non-committal, emotionally immature, right? It kind of hurts you that this person has that type of energy. It really does. But... You know, it's like you're moving on to your new start and you're focused on your money. Yep, and there's some coming in for you to celebrate here. Now they're gonna be um they're gonna be some there's gonna be some forward movement from them. Um, but you're going to be, you know, speaking up about your abundance, your, you know, whatever's coming in for you to celebrate. Like you're going to be speaking up about that or having the courage to move into that energy. Right. So we have the world card. There it is. Things are changing for you. All right. You're doing some soul searching. This is beautiful. You know, Capricorn, you're focusing on you, your growth, you know, and the divine is going to help you out. Now, your person is going to end up coming into an energy of feeling the need to transform, change how they're doing things, ending and new beginnings. Or it could just be that that wand energy that they were in where they like lots of endings and new beginnings, you know, with the noncommittal uh, energy, if you know what I mean. So that's I'm just reading the cards the way I see them. They're they have emotional immaturity, non-committal. They like to move forward. They choose a path. They move forward. They end it, and they get a new beginning. They get non-committal, find a path, end something, and start something. That's hey, you seen it, all right? Just saying. So cross watchers, maybe it ain't your reading. That's all I'm saying, but. I'm just the messenger, all right? You got an issue with it, take it up with the divine. So let's find out what's going to be here to celebrate. Tell me more, please, about celebration. Tell me more.
All right, so it looks like there's going to be some laying down of burdens and things getting balanced here for you. Okay, so there's new love that's going to be coming in. Allowing you to, you know, it's like you're going to be defending it too. Def like, you're going to be very, like you're standing firm on what you said you want. So there's like a new love that's coming in, but this old person, this person here is going to try to resurface as well. But you've laid those burdens down. Now, I get a feeling that you may actually consider things. Tell me about the world, please. Why is it here? Tell me about the world card. So we have the devil with the queen of rods. Your person could be a fire sign. If so, it's a toxic connection. And that's the person that you, you're considering moving to. Instead of closing the book, you're considering moving to chapter two with this person. Tell me about this new idea that's centered. Top row. Why is it here? Why is it here, please? Okay. So that's just, like I said, just you're, you know, trying up with new ways to build your abundance tell me about the abundance card why is it here all right so that's just you and your energy yes you're trying to you know you're you're focusing on your your coin you know so so such and trying to see what you're meant to do where is your life taking you what you know what does this all mean like that's where you're at you're not trying to be mixed up in no drama All right, so let's get some romance oracle out for you. See if there's any messages there. All right, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. What love oracle messages are here for them? Romance angels, what messages do you have for them, please? This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What are the messages? What are the messages, please? What do they need to know for their highest good, please? Codependency, keep an open mind, heart to heart conversations. All right, so definitely, you know, you're feeling like something, it's like some form of addiction is affecting your romantic life. So maybe you want to look into that, Capricorn. Make sure that there's not something that you have going on that you need to address. If so, you need to um, honestly discuss what you're feeling. All right, with someone. Now, your person has keep an open mind. So, and, and we know that they're keeping an open mind. Their soulmate may not, it may differ from what they usually go for. So, this person is just kind of dating around, whoever this person is. They're dating around and they're just, you know, they're, they're just kind of staying open with whatever. There you are focusing on your finances and career. Like, this is what you want. This is where your mind is. And you're just kind of staying optimistic about your love life, but it's not at the forefront of your mind. It's just, it's just not. We have give your relationship a chance. All right. Work on your partnership. So it may be some reason there for you to still try to work on things with this person, you know, past life relationships and deception. Ah, so that's up to you, but there could be lessons here is what this sounds like that there's, you guys have a soul contract where you chose, you agreed in past lives, um, to to teach one another these lessons so and if that's the case then this person is going to resurface and you're going to deal with them because you guys have a soul contract that you have to fulfill but stay focused on your finances this is not a bad thing at all you know all right figure out what this codependency is here for if there's something that you need to address have that heart-to-heart -heart conversations with others about what you're dealing with all right. It could be that, you know, um, finances and careers, like your money could be something that's affecting your love life, you know, something, if that's the case, you need to talk about it. And also you need to stay optimistic about it. Okay. Keep an open mind. All right. Understand that this is there though. Okay. Never forget. So that's your reading, Capricorn, if this resonates with you. Uh, 
please subscribe. You know, if you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. That allows me to better tap into your energy when I'm doing my readings and perhaps get better messages out that's more um, cohesive for you, okay? Feel free to leave a comment. Let me know if this is your story, okay? If it does not resonate with you, that's okay. Please watch your moon and rising sign readings to see if there's any messages there for you. So Capricorn, I want to thank you for... Uh, coming and watching today and please come back next weekend where i will do another update you know on love and see what energies are surrounding you at that time all right thanks for watching